Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. This is Running On Empty Food Review. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and as you can see, we are here we're on the edge of the void. Uh, you can see the black void is kind of right here, it's like a black hole. Uh, this is just, you know, the, the edge of the universe. And then over here we have some other stuff, uh, you know, a little bit of a sunset. You can kind of, you know, that's a cloud there, a thunderstorm that had passed by. And, uh, yeah, ending the day, winding down a little bit with, um, revisiting an item is the best way to put it, from Panda Express. So we're, uh, we're hopping aboard the Panda Express, everyone, and, uh, here we go. <laughs> we are, um, we are revisiting a classic, a stable, I should say. And, um... This one has always been a little iffy. There's always been some variability with this item. Allow me to explain why. The honey sesame chicken. Well, here's the problem. I tried this item originally in 2019. I think it, no, it was actually 2018. See, look at this. We already have a saga going on. We're already getting lost in the history, but let, let's try to just bring back these memories and let's figure this out. So originally back in 2018, I, I tried out the honey sesame chicken for the first time, and I thought it was delicious. As a matter of fact, I thought it was their best chicken ever. And, uh, no, I really did. It was, a, it was a delicious item. I was a huge fan of it. They brought it back in 2019, so it was like a yearly release. Uh, I tried again, you know, I got some good things. I got good ideas for it. I think, oh, yeah, this was delicious then. It was one of my favorite items. It's going to be great now. I tried it out in 2019, and it wasn't that good. Like, it was still okay, but it just wasn't like I remembered it. And I don't know, sometimes maybe I just wonder what if it was just my own memories, like I tried this years ago and it was really good and I'm kind of distorting it, I don't know. Well here we are in 2020. We're gonna see what this is, we're gonna see how this is. Alright, in 2018 it was delicious, 2019 it was okay but it was not as good as I remembered it. But this is gonna be the definitive, uh, this is gonna be it. I mean this is gonna be the definitive review of the uh, honey sesame chicken because now we're gonna see is it going to be better more times than it isn't? I mean, you know, we have one good, one bad. This is going to be the tiebreaker, so we're going to see. Hopefully it's going to be a good item, though. Uh, fingers crossed for the best, anyway. But the honey sesame chicken from uh, Panda Express. Here's what it is, pretty much. You get your fried and uh, battered chicken. All right. It is coated in a uh, honey sesame, um, you know, sweet type sauce. Okay, so it's like just a honey sesame sauce. Comes with sesame seeds on the top as well, hence the name. Uh, then it is also served with yellow bell peppers and string beans. So again, you get the chicken, you get the peppers, the string beans, and um, yeah, honey sesame sauce. I got this, I got a double portion of it. You can see it's in, it's in this, this is where the goods are, okay? Got a double portion of that, along with the side of the fried rice and some mixed veg vegetables, I think they call it the super greens, for $7.80. So $7.80 for the honey sesame chicken, a uh, double portion of it. All right, we know what we got. Let's do the grand unraveling. There it is, there I am with it, why not? Let's, uh, let's get this going here. You know, something like that, right? One good thing about recording at sundown, the lighting is really good for this. You always see the honey sesame chicken there. You can see um, these are just my vegetable side. That's the rice, um, but this is what comes with it. Okay, these are just my own little sides, but this is the food itself. All right, food, glorious food, as they say. Uh, you can see the little bell peppers, and you can see some of the string beans as well. And again, close up of the honey sesame chicken. You can see that had the, uh, you know, the sesame seeds. There's my eyes, right like that. These insane eyes just glaring out at you over there. Um, but that's what it looks like. Let's um, skewer a piece of chicken. Got a real close up going. How about that? You know, you can see again. It's exactly as described: fried, breaded. Got the sauce going, right? That's what we have. Uh, so we're just going to try it out, and hopefully it'll be good. Again, this was a big favorite of mine a couple years ago. We're just going to try a little bit of everything, and we're going to see how it tastes. So it is the Honey Sesame Chicken from Panda Express going in.
I do want to try a bite of the sea. I got a bite of it with the yellow bell pepper. I want to get one with one of the string beans, too. So let's see if we can... There's a string bean right there. Let's figure this out. Let's try this here. I'll try one more. Should be worth mentioning, by the way, I know this doesn't really have to do with the review, um, but just coming up this Saturday, Saturday the 22nd, uh, for anyone interested, I'm going to be doing a special radio broadcast for any listeners, um, really anywhere in the world. If you have a shortwave radio and you're in Europe, Africa, the Middle East, or Asia, uh, you can tune in on 6070 <coughs> kilohertz uh, this Saturday. Time is 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I believe that's... Um, I think that's 6 p.m. BST, right? Just doing the conversion. I think 6 p.m. BST, 7 p.m. Central European Standard Time, uh, 6070 kilohertz. If you don't have a radio, you can listen in online. There's a link to a stream of it, again, at that same time, 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, this Saturday, in the pinned comment, in the description. So I really hope you could tune in. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's something special to do, and uh, hope you could hope you could catch that broadcast. Uh, it's really going to be a good time, some discussion, some music, and uh, just an hour of, of some fun. So I hope you could join in. I'll be there, and I uh, hope you can be too. All right, the honey sesame chicken. What is it? Is it as good as it was the last time? Is it as bad as it was the last time? I mean, what is, what is it this time around? I know Panda Express, they're on the edge of their seat. They're like, they're, they're gnawing down their fingernails. They're just really, they're on edge right now. But they should take a sigh of relief. Um, to know that this is, I'll be brutally honest, it still isn't as good as it was in 2018, but it's much better than it was in 2019. When I had it originally in 2018, it was, I don't know, is there something about it, like the sauce on it, the amount of sauce, how flavorful the sauce was, I don't know, it was just on another level. Last year, though, the chicken was like, it was really dry, it wasn't as flavorful, there were barely any um, bell peppers or string beans, and it wasn't that good. Um, this year, though, I will say, the chicken is more flavorful, it's still, it's juicy, it's flavorful, it tastes good. Um, so number one, that's a good thing. Chicken quality is much better this year compared to last year. I still like that that breading has a little bit of a crunch to it, that's always good. I always like that juxtaposition. I like that they included more of those bell peppers and the string beans, because, uh, especially the bell peppers, I don't know, if you get the chance, Really, really see if you can get that in the same bite uh, as the chicken, because it's really good. I mean, it works together, it's great, and uh, it's just a fantastic pairing. So make sure you get those bell peppers in there. I don't know, just, it blends together great. Uh, the string beans are good too, but the bell peppers really try and get, get those going. Uh, as, for the, as for the sauce, this is what everyone wants to know. The honey sesame sauce. It's, it's got that sweetness to it, and I like That's why I went over for the water, because it has this nice, just real pleasant sweetness to it. Um, you really can taste that honey, kind of just that honey-esque sweetness in the sauce. And, uh, yeah, that's really good. The one thing that I just wish, um, because last year it seemed just, like, very lackluster. Uh, this time there's more sauce, but I still, like, this is one of those times that, while I'm glad that there's more of it, I think it could even have a little bit more to take it to that next level, or really back to what it was in uh, 2018. But yeah, the sauce is uh, delicious, it really makes this. I love that sweetness that it adds, and um, yeah, this is really tasty. Uh, this is something that, obviously, it's not a spicy item at all, but if you're just looking for something that's sweet, maybe a little savory, uh, just really good, really tasty, really flavorful, uh, I'd say this is for you, and make sure you try and pair it with those bell peppers, because that works, uh, that works great. So, overall, um, again, it may not be to the level that it was, like, legendary back in 2018, where I gave it, like, a 9.8 out of 10, uh, but certainly it is not at that level where it was last year either. So definitely a good step in the right direction, and, uh, with that, I feel comfortable in saying, if you're a fan of this, if you like Panda Express, um, by all means go out and get this, 
because I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, really, I think this is um, this release of it. They've they've took a step in the right direction, and uh, I think you'll like it. I think you'll be a fan of it. So uh, out of ten, therefore, eight out of six, eight point six out of ten. There we go. Not eight out of six. Eight point six out of ten is uh, the rating that it's going to get. Because again, a big improvement compared to last year. And um, by all means, give it a shot. Uh, I like it. I'm going to finish this. And uh, yeah, I'd recommend uh, give it a shot. It's pretty affordable too. Double portion. You get your sides for $7.80. Can't go wrong with that. So that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. And uh, today we tried out the Honey Sesame Chicken from Panda Express. Needless to say, I'm happy with it. I'm satisfied with it. And uh, now I'm going to snack it up. So until next time, please be safe, be healthy. Do take care and uh, get this if you're interested. And I hope you can tune into the special broadcast I'll be doing this Saturday. All right, see you next time, everyone. I'm your host, The Report of the Week.